What's up? What is up guys, Jerry here back with another video. Um, today, as you guys can see, I'm standing right in front of my 2017 Dodge 3500 6.7 Cummins. And I wanted to go ahead and review with you guys. In this video, we're gonna go over the top five things I love about this truck. Number one on the list is gonna be the fifth wheel hitch. Um, just because that is such a big deal for me. Um, I'm always hauling a trailer, I'm always hauling uh, equipment with these trucks. As you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, I do have an 06 third gen truck um, that did not come with a fifth wheel hitch. I had to install a fifth wheel adapter to it. And um, yeah, it was just more work. This truck actually came with the adapter and the hitch. So that's definitely a plus. Actually came with four holes for the actual fifth wheel. All you really have to do from factor is either it comes with the fifth wheel or get a fifth wheel and just bolt it down because the holes are there. All right, so as you guys can see, um, there's four bolts. There's one right there, one right there, one right there, and then there's one on the other side over there. So yeah, so that was definitely, definitely a plus. I love, I love the fact that it came with that. On my third gen Cummins, I actually had to go ahead and bolt uh, through the frame so I can actually put a fifth wheel adapter, a, a fifth wheel hitch on the truck. So this is, that was definitely, definitely a plus for me. All right guys, so in second place, is something I can't really show you, but I can tell you from experience. It's going to have to be the transmission. Um, in my truck, I made sure that I went ahead and got an ASIN transmission because as many of you know, Dodge doesn't really have the best transmissions, um, especially in automatic. If it's a G56 truck, you're great. You're 100% bulletproof. But if you grab a base model transmission and hook it up to your 6.7 Cummins, it's probably not going to last a lot if you're hauling and if you're pulling heavy stuff. So that's why whenever I was shopping for this truck, I made sure it came with the ASIN transmission heavy duty. Um, just because I already knew I was going to be hauling a lot of heavy stuff, heavy equipment. Um, that transmission is great. It's never missed a beat on me. I love it. I love it to death. I'm so happy I went with that decision. Just because I've seen a lot, a lot of Dodges go out because of their transmissions. If you want a long, reliable, automatic transmission, definitely go with the ASIN transmission. No other transmission, unless you want to go with a G56. That's it. As a six-speed manual that's an awesome decision so in third place you've guessed it right um the engine these cummins man i would not trade a cummins for any other diesel um engine in this size of truck obviously um this engine has been through hell and back with me it's such a great engine puts out great power the only only downfall that I would say about this engine is that it does consume a lot of a lot of fuel depending on how much weight I put on this truck usually loaded with about like 18,000 pounds on the trailer um, I'm looking about like 10 miles to the gallon with the 67 Cummins um, and then empty just the truck by itself i'm looking about like 13 with the trailer i'm looking about 11 to 12 um depending on the day and you know <laughs> how the truck's feeling <laughs> but yeah apart from that the engine in this truck is great you guys are not gonna give any complaints about it i've had it for over a year i got the truck with 35,000 miles i just hit 100,000, and it hasn't skipped a beat guys you're gonna be happy with this engine in fourth place I'm gonna have to put the 4x4 system. I've used the 4x4 system in this truck multiple times and multiple occasions. Um, I did start hauling with my 5.9 G56 truck and that truck is actually a two wheel drive. Um, luckily, I haven't got stuck in that truck for some reason, it's just my luck. I've always gotten stuck in this truck in two wheel drive. Um, every time I get stuck, I pop on 
I'll show you right now. Every time I get stuck, I pop on the four by four. So right now we got it in two wheel. Then we can put it in four wood lock and four low. Um, usually I just put it popping in four low. This truck gets out of any hole. I put about 20,000 pounds on this trailer, 18 to 20,000 pounds on this trailer. And it's always, always gotten out of a hole. Um, gotten stuck in mud, gravel, anything, guys. This truck is a beast. Uh, definitely, definitely recommend it. All right, guys. And in fifth position, my favorite, favorite, favorite part about this truck is that it is a mega cab. I love the fact that I have this space right here. Um, to haul is not very preferable. I wouldn't recommend getting a mega cab if you're gonna haul, because if, as you guys can see, I had to chop up my trailer a little bit to make those turns. Um, but the way that this truck just looks, guys, look at that. That looks great. The mega cab gives me so much more space back there. When I was doing over the road with this truck. I actually had a bad back bed back there and it was perfect I had so much space I know a lot of guys a lot of guys that do over the road have a bed back there and they suffer because of space I'm 510 so it's pretty cramped back there long ways but what I would do is I since I had a mega cab I can kind of fit sideways so it was it was kind of a plus you know for me um, it gives just about like an extra foot maybe maybe less I don't know but pretty good I did want to come on here and explain this to you guys you know these are actually my top five picks let me know what you think about your top five picks if you guys have a truck like this um, let me know I want to I want to build a community with you guys and see uh, see other trucks and see see what other people like so let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell notification guys so you guys know exactly when I post let's get it and stay blessed